gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm, I'm not at the base just yet. I'm at the top. Let me let me just set my all sorts of stop following me. But down here. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know if you guys saw it just a second ago. There it is right there. Level 95 T-Rex. Level 100 Stega. What in the world? Level 95 Stega uh, T-Rex, though, you guys. 10,000 Torpor, though. Mmm, that's going to be... It's going to be quite a while until we can actually... Ah, oh, man. I kind of want to fly back home right now, you guys. God, man, that T-Rex is really, uh... It's half health right now. I could help it out by killing the Bronos. Yeah, let me let me help it out a little bit by killing the Bronos. This one's almost dead. Just a couple more hits, and did I steal the kill? I did. I stole the kill. Nice. All right, well... Let me kill this other Brano too. Don't want to bring my, uh... Man, that T-Rex is low health as heck. Jeez, we need to watch out for that. Anyways. We do have some regens going on on my RNG right now. I kind of want to keep this T-Rex from dying. So I'm basically just helping it kill the Bronos. And steal a kill, too. And, uh, boom. Got it. Okay, so the T-Rex is right there. Still alive. Hopefully it's not going to die against that Stego, though, because that is a really good high level- Oh, wow, it's already regen pretty well. Nice. Kind of want to go home real quick, though, you guys. I, I just- Real quick, though, I, I just don't know how I'm going to take this Allosaurus all the way across all this. I, I guess I can go all the way around by going all the way over there, or maybe onto this or something like that. I, I feel like I want to make a saddle for him first and then just ride him back, but now I'm kind of- I'm kind of wanting to tame a T-Rex, so- Jeez, you can't blame me. Oh, yeah, I do need to head home, too, yeah. I need to head home and repair my armor, get my other armor, all that kind of stuff, yeah. Definitely going to want to try and tame that T-Rex, though, you guys. That is a fantastic level. Level 95. That's going to be, oh, my gosh. It's going to be so high level. 47 taming, uh, 47 level taming bonus off on that bad boy. Oh, my gosh. Let me let me just leave this. I feel like this Alice Horse can hold his own at least for now, at least for a little while. Our base isn't too far away. I think we just have to keep going straight this way. Let's go see if we have enough plants, uh, enough narco berries to make, like, Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I don't know how many arrows it's going to take to try and knock out that T-Rex. I don't know how much Torpor one Trank arrow does. Maybe like 500 or something like that. So maybe we're going to need at least 20. Let's try and get like 25, maybe 30. Oh, yeah, there's a Coliseum right there. Yeah, we're close as heck to home, dudes. But yeah, uh, 25 or 30, that that should be a really good number. So thankfully our Carbonus, thankfully our, uh, our not Allosaurus, geez, our uh, Ankylo, they're able to collect, oh, geez, they're able to collect berries super duper efficiently. So... Our farm on top of them collecting berries. We should get enough berries to get this guy nice and knocked down, possibly tamed. Oh, yeah. I'm going to want to see how much uh, prime meat we have over here, too. Yeah, I definitely want to see that. Because I, I am sure we have, like, maybe a half dozen or so things of prime meat over here. So that should be enough to tame that T-Rex, like, really, really. Oh, 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 God, is the game going to crash? Oh, the game crashed. You kidding me? No. Oh, no, the game heckin' crashed. Holy. Well, Hopefully that T-Rex is still over there, you guys. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to use this opportunity to just pause the recording and try and get prepared for that T-Rex, try and get some arrows, try and get some prime meat. Maybe make a saddle. I don't know how expensive it is, but maybe I'll make either the T-Rex or the Allosaur saddle. I don't know if I can afford both, but if I can afford both, then hey, I'll try and make both. But I'm going to have to restart the game, and uh, hopefully we didn't lose too much progress, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back, and I made an Allosaur saddle, and I... <sighs> I don't know where the T-Rex is. I, I cannot find it. I don't think it respawned in this alternate universe. But there is another T-Rex down there. Oh, I already had the spyglass out. Uh, let me... Oh, there, you can see it right there. Level... Th oh, well, it's gone. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Uh, zoom in. There we go. There's the T-Rex right there. Level 35, 2,000 health, 4.7k Torpor. Uh, I have a bunch of Trank arrows right now, by the way. I have like 33 you can see on me, so... I don't know. Level 95, that's such a good level, but level 35 is still fantastic. We're going to get, what, 14 level, or uh, not 14, but uh, 17 level titanium bonus on top of that. That's going to be, ah, man, I'm still thinking about that level heck in 95, though. Like, come on, do I want to save these arrows? Do I want to save this raw meat? Raw pro oh my god, I have a lot of raw prime meat on my ankle, or uh, my allosaurus. Holy heck. There you go, 20 and then 2 with 22 right there. Not bad. Let's do some more melee damage. A little bit of health right there. Whoa, this has a really good health. Uh, well, yeah, health baseline is 8. Melee damage baseline is 6. Not bad at all. Holy heck. All right, well, let's get our Arger to follow us on Twitter. And I guess if we just kind of venture around a little bit while riding on our allosaurus, trying to figure out how to get back to the base and try and determine whether or not I actually want to tame that level 35 Rex over there, or if I'd rather have a higher level one, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I, I flew around here with my 
Argy. I, I killed, by the way, those two Bronos were still here, so I assume maybe that level 95 did spawn in somewhere. I don't know. But those two Bronos were here. I told my Allosaurus to kill them both, so that's why they're gone over here. But there are some uh, Utah Raptors over there. Man, my Allosaurus isn't getting any regens right now. When the world's take forever to eat stamina, or <laughs> to regen stamina, eat some of that food. Hurry up. There you go. Uh, I guess we can kill those Utah Raptors real quick. See if we can kill them very easily and convincingly. See if I'll get pounced while, uh, nope. Seems like we're fine. Seems like we just got them both killed. Nice. <laughs> Man, it's, oh, this house horse has, like, no stamina. Terrible on stamina. 400, eh, 425 stamina right there. Yeah, not the best. Carry weight's not too good either. Let me throw this... <laughs> This this Allosaurus brain in my Allosaurus inventory real quick. <laughs> oh, stupid. We have some sand. I'll drop that garbage. Uh, stone, wood. Don't need that. Just trying to drop some of the heavier stuff that we literally do not need. Uh, oh yeah, this is organized by weight, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, unsort that. There you go. Uh, we could try it. Where did that T-Rex go? Hopefully it's not dead. Hopefully it didn't fall off. Ooh, now I think about it. It probably did fall off now I think about it. Ooh. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I see a lot of BUs of foes. I see some Megalosaurus and Leon. A lot of Megalosaurus. Jeez. I've seen a corrupt Stego right here we can try and take out. Let's see if we'll take it out super duper easily. Oh, yeah, we have no stamina again. Come on. Well, this uh, corrupt Stego. Eh, there it is now. Nice. Got three corrupted nodules right there. Not bad. But, yeah, this is, the stamina's on this, on this guy is like just pure garbage. If we can get a T-Rex, maybe it's going to be a little bit better. I don't know. But, uh, I, I just do not know where that T-Rex went. I feel like he fell down there. It's going to take forever for us to... Well, then again, we could fall down there, too. And just dismount before we hit the ground, you know? And that wouldn't give us any fall damage. It'd give me just very minor fall damage, but... 25 kind right there, not bad. But I don't know where this Rex is. I might want to get on my RG and try and figure it out. Hmm. Corrupted, or, uh, corrupted, yeah, corrupted. Trend on killing, killing a Dimetrodon. Yeah, there we go. Get a little bit more of those corrupted nodules we could use. Yeah, let me get on my RG. At least he can move around, like, more than... Oh, that Dimetrodon's totally mad. Yeah, let me kill you. Let me take you out of your misery. There you go. Oh, man, he's actually resilient as heck. Pretty good amount of health, 500, not bad. But yeah, let me let me get on my, uh... Yeah, you can stop falling for right now, at least. Let me, let me see if he fell down here. See if that level 35, or maybe even that level 95 T-Rex fell down here, because I saw him over here just moments ago, but now he's gone. So either he died, which is very possible with all these heckin' sarcos all over the place, or he fell down. Uh, right now, just looking around, just sarcos, and that's it, Can't, or, uh, sarcos, and the one that started with the letter K. I'm not seeing the, uh, Kaposukas. What in the world is that? Is that a Megalania? That is! That's a Megalania hanging from its tail. What in the book? It's supposed to be hanging off the side of that wall, but for some reason it's there is no wall there. <laughs> what in the world's happening with this Megalania? Gee. <laughs> All right. Well, I, 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 I don't know where the T-Rex is. I think it died. I really do. I just, we did have to save that level 95 from those Branos in that alternate universe. So I can only assume that since it was near all those, uh, those, those Sarkos, I assume it died as well in this the level 35 at least. Because that's lower level than the... Level 95, that was almost dead from those Bronos. So I can only imagine, yeah. It did not survive that encounter at all, huh? Oh, here we go. Here's a bat. That, that's gotta have T-Rex arms in it, right? Let's see. Just to confirm its death. Uh, no, that's a Sarko right there. Probably a Sarko Suka skins. Yeah. I'm just gonna act like that T-Rex died, and I guess we'll move on to potentially another T-Rex. Hopefully one that's, you know, higher level, level 95 or something crazy like that. So, I guess for right now, I just let my Allosaurus follow us on Twitter, at Waffleverse. Maybe I'll tell him to command, uh, I'll command him to kill a bunch of critters, try and get him some level ups, maybe get him up to like a thousand or so, uh, stamina. That way he doesn't get out of breath super duper fast. Here we go, kill that Stego. There you go, good job. Maybe I'll find a, uh, oh, yeah, I did find an Explorer note just moments ago. I don't know if I want to... Use that opportunity to uh, use this Allosaurus to level him up and all that stuff just yet. Uh, maybe a little bit later. Maybe maybe if we get a T-Rex or something crazy, maybe we could use that Explorer note for some rampage in action. But for right now, I'm going to pause the recording, try and find a high-level critter, or at least try and find my way back home or something like that. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Made it back to the base. Unfortunately, whoa, a level up. Holy, that is well earned. Look at all that work you put in there, Argentavis, flying around doing nothing. 
Anyways, we're back home. I didn't find any other high level T Rexes, let alone any T Rexes, to be quite honest. So that kind of sucks. Anyways, melee damage up to exactly 200%. That's crazy. All right. Drink a little bit of water, and my Allosaurus has been killing a bunch of random corrupted, corrupted critters along the way. So I guess we can do more. There you go. More stamina just because ah, he can't really. Or she can't really do anything whenever she has, like, no stamina. She can't walk around or anything like that. But speaking of corrupted, we do have a lot of these corrupted nodules. I guess we do, what we could do is grab a couple of them and see. Uh, let's go to that one thing. Let's go see. Oh, stop falling. Yeah, stop falling there. Let's go back to over here and let's go see if they actually count as polymer slash organic polymer over here. So you guys remember that we do need, I think, like 25 or something like that. 25 organic polymer slash polymer slash whatever in order to make the baseline enforcer, let's see. No, 30 polymer, unassembled enforcer. Use this item to assemble a new enforcer. So if we put this here, is that gonna count? Yes, it is. Look at that, 20 out of 30 for polymer. Okay, so that is real news right there. So we can actually use those nodules. Ooh. So maybe I can go kill like a billion more of those critters. I don't know how many of those corrupted nodules we have right now, but if we're gonna make one of those enforcers, might as well at least make, might as well make something a little bit better than the baseline, you know? I, I feel like at least, at least uncommon. I don't know what all you're going to need for that, but, uh... Do, do the nodules spoil less? Nah, they spoil the same no matter what, so let me put that up in there. And let's see. Any blueprint? No, no blueprints there. Let's go look at the blueprints so far. Yeah. And let's go see how these stack up. So crafting... The lowest level one would be green, which is uncommon. We can make that with 64 polymer. A primal 135 level needs 818 polymer and 13,000 element dust and 1,300 crystal and all that kind of stuff. Jeez. <sighs> if we're going to start out, we might as well make level 20 with 59, 64. Might as well just do the level 28 for uncommon. But then again, we could do rare, which is one step above that, which is just a little bit more polymer, but still requires a ton of element dust. We have 1,500 element dust in there, or we have 800 element dust in there right now. Probably a little bit more in these chests, if I go look. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have 13 there. We have 13 there in general. And another 5 there, so that's 18. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we should probably start with like a baseline enforcer then. Uh, yeah, look at that. 860 element dust out of 1073. And then, of course, we're going to need to take all these materials to that city terminal thing. Of course, we could make a common one for a lot cheaper. But, of course, it only makes sense to at least get something a little bit better while we actually have the blueprints and, you know, kind of work towards trying to uh, trying to make one. Perhaps we could do that next episode. All we have to really do is make, uh, cut down more of those street lights and all that kind of stuff, kill more enforcers, and we're good to go, I think, right? So that's, going, that's definitely doable to try and make at least that level 28 uncommon guy, you know? So definitely want to do that next time. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you not miss an episode. Looks like my inventory is completely full of meat and stuff. Let me just pull them all over here to my old-fashioned fridge. Holy 1400 meat on my Alice horse. Golly! Man! Now I should be able to move around on them, right? Uh, yes I can. Alright. Look at this. Oh yeah, here's a defense unit. Real quick. Let's see. 182 damage per... Wow, attacking pretty fast, too. Health on this guy is draining. Quick, quick, quick. He's attacking the trike, but he's... Not attacking us. We're going to take him out right now. There we go. We got him. And a level up there, too. Nice. And stamina's doing pretty decently, too. Not bad, considering we have literally no meat in our inventory. Let's <laughs> give ourselves a little bit more melee damage there. Nice. All right. So there we go. Maybe next episode we'll be able to ride around on our Allosaurus and actually wreck heckin' house. What level is it now, by the way? Oh, poo, nice. Level 64, that's actually really, really good. Either way, we're going to be messing around with this Allosaurus next time. So thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Ark Extinction. Oh, bye there. Alright guys, back. Alright, I know that I just did like an outro in the middle of this video. I didn't know where this episode would end, so whatever, it's in the middle of the video. Anyways, I'm back. I'm trying to get some resources. I'm trying to get some metal so I can make a feeding trough. And you can see it right there on the screen. Tyrannosaurus. Female, of course. Why wouldn't it be female? Everything's female here. Jeez. Except for me, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> we have a level 20 T-Rex over here. I just saw it spawn in, killing some Bronos and stuff in the background, so I assume... Man, I, I need my Allosaurus to, like, regen on uh, stamina so bad, but thankfully, uh, how, do I, how do I zoom in? Oh, uh, trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There it is right there. 
Level 20 to your ranks. Now, it's not as high level as that level 35, not as high level as that level 95 or whatever that was that we saw a little while ago. Kind of want to put up some of this, uh, ah, man. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, we want to at least have some prime meat in my inventory, but I want to put some of that up just in case anything happens, we don't lose all that really good stuff. But I also, when I was editing the video, I was like, man, why do I have a crossbow yet? So this might be a really good opportunity for us to try and make ourselves a crossbow. There it is right there. We even have the Ingram unlocked. I don't know why I didn't make one yet. Jeez. But there we go. That should be very, very helpful when it comes to, uh, let me, can I, oh man, yeah, look at that. The bow itself is almost broken too. It's low durability right now. Not bad. Pretty good timing over here, none too shabby doo. Well, anyways, put that back in my hotbar. Let's load that up with some trank arrows. And, whew, man. I'm like, at least as far as heck away. There is level 20. Oh, man, it's actually getting low health. No! No, it's fighting something. Oh, it's gonna die. No, it's, I think it's fighting the Brano, and the Brano's gonna kill it. It's still alive. I cannot tell if it's still alive or not. If it is. It is. It's killing the Brano. Brano's running away. That's good. Let's go kill the Brano. Make sure the T-Rex survives. Kill the Brano. Maybe steal the kill as well. There we go. We got the we got the kill. Okay, T-Rex is behind us. What's he doing? Or she? Because of course it is a female. Okay, it looks like he just harvested dead flesh. Can I I cannot use my crossbow while on the Allosaurus. That's unfortunate. It's killing like a Megan or something like now. I, I, what in the world is it doing? <laughs> I really want to come over here to this cliff though. This would be a really advantageous area over here where we can actually shoot the T-Rex and hopefully the T-Rex can't actually get to us. Uh, where'd it get? Oh, jeez, there it is right there. Okay, it's, it's, it's kind of close. I need to watch out, but I do need to get a little bit of regens. We did steal that kill. Might as well get a little bit more stamina. Try and regen more of that stamina. What's happening over here? I do not know. Someone's trying to kill that Brano. Oh, it's a U-turn. Oh, a couple U-turn actors down there. Yeah. Okay, well, let's leave you here. And let's get the crossbow out. There's the T-Rex right there. We do have tr Oh, it's fighting another one. You kidding me? Oh, my... I guess I'll kill that Brano then. Let's go kill the Brano because I know there's Utah Raptors down there as well. So if they, if that Brano doesn't kill the T Rex, surely the, the Utah Raptors probably will. So that's actually. Man, that thing is 12,000 health. Golly! Okay, might want to take care of the Utah Raptors. Because they're doing decent damage. We're, we're taking a little bit of damage. Might want to go to first person so I can see a little bit better. T Rex is getting bloody as butt cheeks. No! Oh my god, the T Rex is so getting bloody. It's so bloody right now. I want to at least get the Brano low enough to where it starts running away. Because that T-Rex really... Oh, there. Okay, it's running away. It's running away. That's good. That's good. That's good. Whew. Now that Brano's still running. Man, see, look at this. We have, like, no stamina. I can't move. Right, well, I can move, but I'm going super duper slow. I need to eat. Come on, regen some stamina. Eat some food. Man. Okay, we're regaining a little bit of stamina right there. Oh, she's another hit on that T-Rex. T-Rex is 600 or so uh, HP. About a third of its health-ish. We're getting... We're still getting whipped by the tail of the Brano. Here we go. Doing really good. Man, we're doing fantastic damage. 233 damage per hit. Okay, if we don't get the healing blow, it's not that big of a deal. I just want that T-Rex to survive. That's the man. No, no, did I kill it? No, the Brano killed it. Okay. Golly, you've got a mm. Man, see that that really sucked. Well, it wasn't really the highest level in the universe, but it was still a T-Rex. Come the heck on. And I could have used an explorer note to try and get it. Leveled up and stuff hardcore. I guess if anything, I could use an explore note for this Allosaurus. Just a couple more hits. There we go. Got that Brano down. Golly. Oh, I could have harvested it. I'll do it with the T Rex then. Man. Ah. Well, they do seem to spawn pretty often over here. Man, 100 level uh, hide right there. Not bad. Eh, oh, man. Another metal hatchet right there. Not bad. Some other uh, stuff I could use. Not bad. I'll take all that stuff. Might as well. Man, if only my uh, stamina wasn't so heckin' terrible. Yeah, look at that. We're even gaining torpedo over here. Might as well get a little bit of stamina berries to try and counteract that. Uh, melee damage or more stamina? I don't... I, I keep trying to get more stamina, but... There we go. We got a little bit more health, a little bit more stamina right there. Not bad. Torpor is going down. That's good. And, yeah, I forgot we just harvested the Brano's dead body. Man... If only we're able to actually use the uh, crossbow while on the Alice Horse. But then again... We would have knocked it out. It probably would have got killed by the Brano anyway. So, yeah. Well, like I said, it seems like they're somewhat common over here. So I guess I could just keep venturing around this general area. We're around this, like, Coliseum or whatever this is. I did also get a comment from a guy saying, 
hey, you know, there was like a level 50 or 58 or something like that, uh, Velanosaur or whatever that was. So apparently, a lot of you guys were saying, hey, Velanosaur was a fantastic critter and I should tame it. So perhaps we'll go back to the Scorched Earth little biome, as you guys are calling it, not just a little arc. So perhaps we'll go back to the Scorched Earth biome here in just a bit. Next to see where we can find that level 58 or whatever that level was, Velanosaur. And that could possibly be our first Velanosaur. And we can learn more about it, find out what it's all about, see what's good at, see what's able to do that, you know, other critters are not able to do. Uh, to make it apparently so OP that you guys are saying. <laughs> Anyways, let me put up the, uh, there we go, prime meat. If I, yeah, if I put the prime meat in your inventory, he'll, he'll still eat it. I'll keep in mind. Even though it'll spoil a little bit faster, at least he's not going to eat it, right? So that's, that's good, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, kind of want to keep going around here so we'll find another T-Rex get spawned in. Unfortunately, I didn't see one spawn in from, uh, from the Scorched Earth biome all the way back home, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm just not seeing any like, right off the bat, but what I was doing, like I said, I was trying to get a lot of metal. I think I have metal in my inventory. Uh, yes, I do. 102 right there. Not bad. I might continue trying to get a little bit more metal here, as well as, uh, you know, just generally look for more T-Rexes, all that kind of stuff. Maybe just go get on my Anklo. I was mainly just trying to get a couple more metal. That's why I'm not on my Anklo right now. I know my Anklo is really good at getting metal, but I only needed like eight or so pieces of metal, and I found like two mineral-rich rock things, so that's why I have like a heckin' hundred over here. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, let me pause the recording, continue getting more metal, all that kind of stuff. Maybe even find the T-Rex and maybe even go back to the Scorched Earth, tame more Allosaurus for this Allosaurus to make an Allosaurus pack, or even tame that Velanosaur, or a little bit of both. Maybe, maybe we'll get an Allosaurus pack plus a Velanosaur. I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. I see like three T-Rexes right now. One of them's level 40. One of them's level 20. One of them's level 16, I think it was. If we tame all three of them, and maybe even more around here, I'm seeing so many of them around here, here's a really good spot. Uh, I don't know, it might be decent. Oh, jeez, there's two of them right there, which one's which? Level 44, level 4, oh, jeez, they're coming for me, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, I want to go up a cliff. Oh, jeez, which one's behind me? Neither of them, okay. Whew. Man, I really want to, like, get up on a cliff or a rock or somewhere where I can hit them, and they won't be able to come to me, kind of like what we did with the Allosaurus. We're kind of on top of a rock, kind of on a cliff, and we're able to actually, you know, shoot at it. Man, those dire bears required tons of stuff. Sheesh. Berries and meats and heckin' hunting and stuff. <laughs> Man. I've also been over here, by the way, if you're wondering, hey, where in the world are you? I think over, yeah, over there is the other tower, the other biome. So Scorched Earth biome is like opposite. It's like all the way over there. I'm over here killing things just so I can get more of those corrupted nodules. And I think I even got a comment from someone saying, hey, if you have corrupted nodules in your inventory, those uh, enforcers and stuff will start attacking you if you bring those into the, uh... Oh my god, okay, one of them's white, one of them's kind of a red. Which one's that? What level's that one? Oh man, it's finally gas... gas bag! Okay, that one's level 40. Which one's the white one? White one must be the level 44 then. Okay, well... Ah, this... This might be a pretty good spot. Hold on, let's go. Let me set my Allosaurus to passive mode. Let's keep an eye on the... T-Rex. It's fighting the gas bag, so it is kind of... Oh, man, the, the gas bag's going flying! Holy... Oh, jeez, there's the other one. Okay, what... Is it stuck? I don't know what it... What's it doing? Try and aim for it. There we go, got a hit right there. It kind of just sit... Oh! Uh, gained about a thousand Torpor. Yeah, my assumptions are correct. They do get about a thousand or so Torpor from the... Oh, jeez, do not fall off the secondary cliff. Okay, well, this might be a really good spot right here, you guys. Right here. Okay, it's roaring at us. It's fine with me. I don't really care. Okay, it's at 2,000 out of 5.5k. Man, it's moving though. We need to try and keep up with it. Oh, it's trying to. I think it's trying to come to us or something. My Allosaurus should be able to hold his own. Okay, it's, oh, it's fighting like a tread on or something like that. Man, come on. Oh, it's fighting another gas bag. Oh, well, that one's fighting a gas bag too. Okay, this, this is going to be about 3,000 out of 5,000 torpidity. That's another hit. I don't know if I hit the gas bag right there. That's another hit right there. It's going to get knocked out here, Andy. Ooh. Ah, missed, missed. I know it. Kids, I, oh my god, it's so close. 5.3. I just need to hit it like once and it's good. Let's give it a little bit of water. We can worry about the... I don't know which one's... Oh man, I wasn't paying attention what level that one was, but there was like a level 44 and there's a level 40. There it is right there. There's the one that we we're hitting right there. It's running away. I don't know if it's running away from Torpor or what. Well, let's just drop down. We're going to take minimal fall damage. It's not going to really matter. Nah, it took about a third of our health right there. Just, just hit it like once. <gasps> oh, that one's level 44. Oh my gosh. Okay. Try and keep up with it. We just need to hit it like once, and it's good. It's down. I want to get close enough to it. I do have flag. My flag is doing pretty good on durability. 
<laughs> That's a hit. That's a hit. Okay. Kind of want to get, uh... I don't know where my Alice Wars is. I don't have... Oh, I do have prime meat on us. Really nice. Really nice. Okay. I don't know where my Alice Wars is. Kind of want to get him. Kind of want to bring him over here. Get over here. Come here. You. Come on. Must be too far away. It's not like Red Dead Redemption 2. We're able to whistle from like a great distance or anything like that, unfortunately. <laughs> Thankfully, we're kind of in a more, uh... Safe area, I guess you could say, where it's just gas bags and stuff. But level 44 T Rex right now, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is going to be fantastic. Now, how are you doing? On yeah, we've got a lot of like nodules and stuff. I think as long as we stay out of the city, we're not going to need to worry about that. Uh, let's see how many nodules we're working with here. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 56 nodules right there. That's basically 56 uh, polymer slash organic polymer. For we get those enforcer things, let me check them on the food on this guy. He's at uh, about. About 20 below-ish. 20 below his, uh, his initial food thing right there. How many does it say he's... Oh, he's probably gonna eat, like, five. Torpidity's basically not even moving, jeez. <laughs> okay, I, I think we just have to play the waiting game right here for that guy. I th like I said, I think he's in a relatively safe area. I kinda wanna stay by it. I'm like, there are... Yeah, there are a few critters around here, like, mainly over there. That are corrupted. Kinda wanna go kill them. Just kinda clean out the area and make sure it's nice and safe. And then of course we can go find that level 40. And then maybe find that level 16. And you know, basically have like 3 or 4 T-Rexes by the end of the day, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be crazy. Looks like we have a die, little fellow. There we go, dead. Trike over here. I don't know what it's doing, it's basically stuck in that tree. <laughs> or a uh, tree trunk or whatever that is. There we go, got that one down. Is that a corrupted... I think it's just a regular terrain on up there. Okay, that's good. I think I think we're relatively fine right now, you guys. Like I said, I, I think all we have to do is just play the waiting game on this guy, and we'll have him nice and tamed. Just looking around, make sure everything's fine. Can't tell. What is it? Oh, that is a corrupted stego up there. Okay, well, if anything happens, I'm going to set my, uh, set him in a neutral mode. Let me just make sure... Neutral, okay. So if anything does happen, we want to be nice and prepared, but, uh, he's about to be 40 or 50 points down from his food, so he should start eating his fur. Whoa, what in the world? That gas bag is literally flying! What? Man, I, I, I wish I could, like, read the dossiers and stuff. I, I think you can still. I, I, I thought I, like, changed it. I don't know, I might need to look at it. I really want to read about that heckin' uh, gas bag. Uh, where would it be? Emerald Rock, Rock Well. Uh oh. Oh, jeez! Oh no! Oh man! I was, I was trying to look for like. Oh my god! Taming bonus is probably down. Oh my god, it is. 56.4%. You can. And it just ate. Oh my, come the heck on. I was trying to look for like the dossiers and stuff. I'm really sure they changed that. Man. It looks. It, what is that? Is that a critter? It is! It's a Dolphosaurus! What in the world? Get over here! Come here! Piece of trash! God, I kinda wanna wake up the, uh, T-Rex now. Ah, there we go. Man, so that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Man, the torpidity on this guy's dropping, like, basically not at all, so... If I wanna wake him up and then knock him out again, it's gonna take a lot of arrows to get him back up, too. Where's he at right now? Where's the Tamebos? Tamebos is plus 12 at 44 levels. We're basically missing out on, uh... Oh my god! Alpha T-Rex has been summoned! What? Oh! Oh my god, is that it? It is. Oh my gosh. Too bad I, I cannot tame it, unfortunately. I need scorpion egg kibbles. Or golden uh, kibbles. Or carnivore treat. Ah, oh, man. I don't know how I'm going to get scorpion egg. The main way I was able to get kibbles and stuff is from tribesmen, and I have not been able to find any tribesmen here in extinction. Ah, oh, man. I could always, you know, tame scorpion, female scorpion, uh, let it lay eggs and all that kind of stuff and make kibbles. And I could always get that, like, kibble vending machine mod you guys keep on talking about as well, I know that. Man. I'm conflicted, I am really conflicted right here, you guys. Should I wake up the TRX? We're at 12 taming bonus. If it, if it had 100% taming bonus, it would be at plus 21 levels. So we're missing out on 9 levels right here, you guys. God, oh, man. Do I want to wake it up? just to go get those extra few levels. Um, and can I even wake it up? I'm like, I, I just have to get a little bit of stem berries here and there, and I'll be good to go. All I have to do is just pick a couple bushes over here, and I'm good. Yeah, look at that. Got two, three stem berries right there. It's not going to be too hard to knock them out again. It's going to take like four, five, six arrows. Um, I think I will. I think it might be worth it, especially for how high level this guy is. The other one's going to be... Uh, 
plus 19 level tamer bonus if we tamer that level heck at 20. We're going to want to watch out for that alpha with 30 something thousand health. We want to watch out for that one. Oh my god, it's like halfway tame now. Well, I guess if anything, it's, it's good to know. Let's see, how's the torpor? It's dropping, but like basically not at all. Eh. I'll give it. I'll give it the. Ah, let's let's just let's just tame this one. Uh, what is it? 12, 12 level tame bones. It'll be level fifty six. Whatever, it's all done. So level fifty six baseline isn't even bad. It's better than this guy's. This guy's uh forty one. So hey, not bad. You just had to poop on camera right there, didn't you, Alice? Or jeez. <laughs> so uh, honestly. It could be better, but I can't complain. This is a male, though, so hey, might be able to, if that other one's a female, if that level 40's a female, could breed these together. Maybe uh, get a pack together pretty soon, and I don't know, maybe kill that alpha T-Rex, because I know I'm not going to be able to tame that thing in, you know, quite a while, so. For right now, I guess, I guess, uh, let's just, let's just clear the area. Kill, uh, kill this Crepton Stego. Just kill any other critters nearby that might want to attack our uh, T-Rex, and I guess we're just going to tame that one and get it nice and tamed for level 56. That's if it keeps its current tame. Bonus. So I think we're gonna pause the recording. Oh geez, there it is right there. Can I get a little bit more information about it? I'm trying to see like how much health it had. 30 or so thousand torpidity and health. Yeah, making basically 40,000 torpidity, basically 40,000 health. Jeez. Man, and how much does this T-Rex have? Because we have like 2,000 or so on our Allosaurus, but uh, yeah, 2,300 ish. I'm still, I'm still getting a lot of stamina upgrades, just because this guy keeps on running out of stamina like it ain't no thing. But if we have like four or five T-Rexes and Allosaurus and all that kind of stuff, we might be able to take on, especially whenever each one of them has a saddle that's decently upgraded. Speaking of such, I might want to see if I can upgrade this Allosaurus saddle sometime soon. But this T-Rex has eh, about the same health our Allosaurus has ish. It's going to eat its third piece of food, and it looks like, yeah, I think it's going to need, like, five pieces of food. Considering it gets, like, 22.4 uh, tame percentage each, so it's going to get to, like, 89.6 with uh, two more. So it's going to be just short of 100% at that point, so yeah, it's going to need five of these, yeah. Well, anyways, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that is the, oh, jeez, holy, the Alpha T-Rex just passed by. I don't, oh my god, if it... Ooh, sheesh. Man, I, I think I'm going to run away for right now. I think I'm going to run away. Ah, man, I don't know. What do I do? Do I stay and defend the T-Rex and possibly risk my Al Swartz getting murdered? Ah, man, I do not know. I'm so conflicted. What do I do? Let me get rid of some of the trash, get rid of the rock, the stone. It's fighting a scorpion right now, which is kind of funny because it wants scorpion egg kibbles. Oh, man, where is it? There it is. Okay. It looks like he's getting distracted by things over there, that's good. It basically skipped over us. I guess the gas bag going flying halfway across the map. Oh yeah, look at that, it's flying again. Look at that thing, jeez. That must be like what they're doing. That must be like a weird, like, ability of them to just heck and float. Well, it makes sense, they're made out of heck and gas, right? Jeez. <laughs> well, I guess they're inflated with gas on the inside. I, I don't know the specifics about it. I'm going to need to read about those gas bag critters. Yeah, look at that, 67.2% taming bonus, or, uh, percent taming progress on our T-Rex right now, so yeah, slowly getting there, but thankfully it looks like we're not going to have to abandon our T-Rex and just leave it for dead or anything like that, so go stick by its side, wait for it to eat two more pieces of raw prime meat, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit.